Hello, my name is Matt Rodas, and I'm the industry principal for the retail vertical here at NetSuite. And today I want to talk to you about a pervasive problem in the retail industry, and that's the evolving customer journey. Traditionally, a retailer has focused on touch points, or in other words, the individual moment in time when a consumer is interacting with one or many of your brands on their way to conversion or perhaps after the purchase. But the issue on focusing in on any singular moment in time is it has a tendency to distort the overall picture and gives the perspective that the customer may be happier than they actually are. It also causes retailers to spend tremendous amount of time and money on focusing on one aspect of the customer journey rather than focusing on what's most important, and that's the big picture or the end-to-end -end customer experience. I've had the opportunity to visit and work with many retail customers over the years. And what I've noticed is that retailers tend to repeat the same mistakes and create the same problems they've had in the past, which is continuing to buy point solutions and addressing them by creating a complex web of integrations where rather than having a cohesive experience that represents that customer in total, you end up with multiple instances of the data, multiple instances of that customer permeating it through your IT landscape. Let's take an example of a routine customer experience, which is a product inquiry. Perhaps a customer might have started online or walked into one of your stores or contacted one of your call centers and wanted to ask about a particular product that you now have recently assorted in one of your stores or put up on your website. Now to the consumer and to the company, this is by all intents and purposes a product inquiry. But in total, it's actually one part of an entire buying journey. And if you were to go back several weeks, several months later, and ask that consumer how they viewed that interaction, I doubt they would tell you that they viewed it as a product inquiry. What I challenge you is that you're never actually going to solve the evolving problem of customer experience. You're never going to get ahead of where your consumers are if you continue to use an integrated web of applications. Instead, you need to have a cohesive and singular commerce engine that drives the experience regardless of how your consumer begins to engage with your brand or how they transition from one touch point to the next. At NetSuite, we like to propose what we call the stairway to customer experience nirvana. And what this is, is a prescribed methodology of evolving from a step of remediation through what we like to call disrupt. I'll walk you through an example of customer experience nirvana today, but what I also want to talk about is the power of the NetSuite platform and our large web of partners that we use to help support that journey from beginning to customer experience nirvana. And that we like to call our whole offer. I'll walk you through an example of what customer experience nirvana may look like for a traditional retailer. What you see here is a very good example of what all the systems that a traditional retailer might have in place. Up at the top, you have all of your customer experience platforms. Everything from in-store point of sale, e-commerce, mobility, call center, as well as the marketplaces you're leveraging to sell off additional products. And in many cases, you might have multiple instantiations of each of these technologies as you might be running multiple brands or geographies. Over on the left-hand side of the diagram, you'll see all of your masters or all of your data centers for handling all of your marketing, your various customer masters, any product lifecycle management, merchandising and financials that's supporting any of the activities that's driving your organization. Over on the far right-hand side of the diagram are all your ready-made services you need to be able to drive a commerce-based activity, such as payment, taxes, fraud evaluation, and even the pricing and promotions you're using to drive all of your various activities. Now for many, you might have one or even multiple order managements that are sitting in the middle of all of this where their key job is to bring together all of these various components of a sale, of an item, of an inventory, and then bring that to the bottom part of the diagram here, which is all of your execution elements, where all your inventory lives and all of your orders are being fulfilled. Now, what it would take in order to have this diagram look realistic is I would have to probably draw a line from every box to every other box. And a lot of companies have spent a lot of money on middleware technologies in order to make this problem easier 
But really, it is this problem that's creating the customer experience dilemma to begin with. As many lines as I can draw on this diagram are all the instances and failure points that you're putting forth on all of your customer experience platforms. And your customers are going to begin to feel every one of these lines as they begin to transition from one channel to the next. So let's take a look at what customer experience nirvana might look like for your organization. And it's all about first going back to the basics and introducing a step that we like to call remediate. And this is deploying NetSuite's retail management ERP foundation as a way of unifying customers, items, inventory, and order all on a single web-based platform. Now, for many retailers, the difficulty of step one is admitting that their front-end problem is really a back-end problem. And in many ways, admitting that for many retailers means a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of pain. But the beauty of the NetSuite platform being a cloud-based technology is we're able to deploy quickly and without having to have a large infrastructure to support that deployment. So step one, as I mentioned, is all about the NetSuite ERP Retail Management Foundation. And this is now going to allow you to begin to unify those elements we talked about. So leveraging all of our pre-existing integrations into all of your ready-made services for payment, for tax, for pricing and promotions, that are now all driving off of one single centralized source to all of your various commerce-based platforms. In addition to that, you're now bringing together your elements of customer all onto, again, one platform, where your customer data now resides in one location, giving you corporately one view of who your customer is across all of your various touch points. And another thing we can take on in step one is bringing in-house your financials, because at the heart of what NetSuite is, is a financials package. So I haven't drawn a lot yet, but what I have done is bring together the core elements that are driving all of your various commerce activities. Now, all of your commerce interaction touch points can drive off of a single source of the truth. So once we have this, we're ready to talk about step two. And step two, we like to call Unify. And this is all about moving on to your greatest channel of need. And when I say that, what I mean is most retailers have one particular channel that is driving their need to go to market to find some new technology as they begin to improve their overall customer experience that they're presenting. And in talking to many retailers, as an example, a lot of them tend to think that in-store is the area that they need to focus on the most. So I'll use that as an example of step two for today's discussion. So step two is all about then deploying the NetSuite in-store technology and driving directly off of the NetSuite platform. Now, NetSuite's in-store technology allows you to run both elements of point of sale and omni-channel servicing all off of a web-based UI. What it will also allow you to do then is bring in the elements of fulfillment to that store channel as well. So now you have one channel operating entirely off of the omni-channel foundation of which you've created and unifying that channel in an omni-channel selling and fulfilling manner. Now, step three, or what we like to call enhance, is all about continuing that path and deploying the various NetSuite technologies across all of your customer interaction platforms. So in doing this, what you're actually now doing is deploying all of NetSuite's sweet commerce technologies for web, for in-store, and for call center. And NetSuite inherently, by definition, is mobile enabled. So you're addressing all aspects of your customer experiences, all directly on top of your base foundation of which all your data resides. Now, from a marketplace perspective is another area where we would bring to bear our partner network and have pre-integrations that we provide for you into all of your various marketplaces. These integrations are not integrations that you need to manage or that you need to maintain, but in fact are maintained for you. 
So as a result of doing each of these steps, I've now unified and enhanced all of my various customer experience platforms. Now, NetSuite also has a warehouse management component that can come into step two or three, depending upon when you might be ready to take that on. But essentially, we've now leveraged aspects of your DC and fulfillment center and your store from a fulfillment perspective and driving all of your commerce technology right on top of NetSuite. NetSuite has pre-integrations into some technologies that you can now begin to leverage in step two and three as well, where we will provide using our partner network pre-integrations into all of your various marketplaces, as well as any dropship providers that you may want to provide access to to dropship on your behalf. Any of these integrations are maintained for you and no longer require you to take on the burden of managing your uh, use case-based integrations like you are today. So now we're ready to talk about step four. Step four is really where you're now able to begin to innovate. At step three, I essentially solved the omnichannel problem. I now have my customer experience all on a single platform. But let's begin to look at aspects of customer acquisition and customer retention at the same time. Now, today, marketing tends to be some aspect off to the left or just off of center of a lot of your customer activities. What we want to do is leverage NetSuite to bring marketing back to where it should be, which is right on top of your commerce platform. So leveraging NetSuite's partnership with our loyalty providers, as well as our acquisition of Bronto, we're now able to drive your customer acquisition and customer retention programs right on top of that same platform. Now that we have step four complete, you're able to drive a much more personalized experience, whether that's through any of the deployed commerce customer experience platforms, or whether that's through an email that they're opening up on their mobile phone. You're able to eliminate one of the most confusing aspects of a customer journey, and that's where potentially I have purchased something in store, and then days later bought something online, where I get a confirmation email with the very product I bought in store the other day. This is going to make sure that your overall journey and customer experience it feels like an authentic one. There's a few other aspects of the overall experience that we're also able to address, whether that's at step one, step two, step three, or step four, depending upon when you're ready to take those on. And that's leveraging our partnerships with merchandising and product lifecycle management that also brings those maintained integrations to that side of the business. So all aspects through product development, through assortment planning and merchandise planning, all the way through sales and fulfillment is now driving off of one singular cohesive deployment of customer items, inventory, and order. So now that we have warehouse management as part of the overall deployed solution, and we're driving off our pre-integration into your dropship providers, at the same time we can leverage our integration to all of your 3PLs as well, bringing all of your various inventory execution and fulfillment aspects into the deployed platform. So now we've arrived at step five, or what we like to call disrupt. And this is where technology is no longer the limiting factor that's keeping you from deploying whatever next-gen customer experience you want to present to your consumer. Whether this is a digital dressing room, whether it's body scanning, whether it's a magic mirror with commerce activity built directly in, whether it's shop at home from your TV with your customer sitting right at home, Whatever that experience is, you know that you have a single source of information of which to drive any activity without a complex web of integrations. If data lives in multiple places, it's going to be wrong somewhere. You're just not gonna know until your customer is disappointed. So what this is, is NetSuite for fashion apparel. Bringing together a prescribed methodology in our stairway to customer experience, and delivering that through our whole offer, which is bringing together elements of NetSuite technology with those of our strategic partnerships. Using this to break the cycle of endless upgrades and endless maintenance activity through multiple integrations that are standing in the way of you delivering any type of superior customer journey. I challenge you to take a look at your own roadmap and how you're presenting your shopping experience to your consumers. Please visit our website for more information on how we can help you.